Let's take a closer look at the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Shadow V-Wing Starfighter Rare Vehicle. Villa Veracino, living the Star Wars life. Hello there, and thanks for visiting the Villa Veracino YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking a closer look at and unboxing the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Shadow V-Wing Starfighter. And as you can see by the foil sticker here, this is a rare, one of 15,000. When Series 5 of Micro Galaxy Squadron hit store shelves here in New Zealand, my husband and I went on a toy hunt to see if we could find all of the vehicles from this wave. And lo and behold, we found four of the different chase vehicles just on the store shelves. So that was super exciting. We've never been able to find four from a series before. And so today we'll be taking a look at this one, the Shadow Viewing Starfighter. So if this one looks familiar to you, if you've been collecting the line, you may know that this is essentially a repaint of one that already exists. Now this is the classic V-Wing Starfighter from the Galactic Republic and it comes with a clone pilot, an R4P17. This one is from the Galactic Empire, so it's kind of been repainted, you know, once Palpatine ordered Order 66 and it goes from the Galactic Republic into the Galactic Empire. We have an Imperial pilot and Astromech. So there was just a little bit of fun trivia that I noticed. This one is listed as having R4P17, which is actually Obi-Wan Kenobi's astromech, as we see her in Episode 2 and sadly in Episode 3, where she doesn't quite make it. Um, but I think it's kind of interesting that here, it is simply the same minifigure, but in, because uh, R4 does not survive the Clone Wars, this is just labeled as Astromech, which is kind of rare. Usually for these Astromech figures, they give them a name, some number there, but this is, a, it looks, it's, the paint is exactly the same. So I just thought that that was kind of interesting there, that they didn't uh, give it a, an Imperial paint job and give it a number. It is just the exact same minifigure there. But yeah, we can see that these are very similar ships. This one has the Galactic Empire shadow black paint job and that one has the Galactic Republic symbol there and this one has the Empire symbol there but I'm expecting them to be pretty much identical so I'm just going to pop that one aside for now so we can take a closer look at the packaging for this one so of course we can see that silver stripe here on the front, Shadow Viewing Starfighter, and this one is number 0109, all the way past 100. This one is from Series 5. We can see a picture here of putting the pilot into the cockpit, and then of course we have the two minifigures here, Imperial Pilot and Astromech. And of course, that shiny silver sticker there that says rare, one of 15,000. I really like the way that these ships look in their big window packaging there. Very tempting to try and collect a whole set to display in the packaging, but some of them need their wings out. Some of them need to be assembled. So I do think on the whole, the Micro Galaxy Squadron line does look better out of their packaging especially if they need assembling. In the back we've got a bit of a starfighter battle here as per usual. I do like the artwork that they include here. So that is the front. Moving on to the back. So here we have a bit of a sort of a hologram rendition of the Shadow Viewing Starfighter. This is part of the Starfighter class from this range. We can see we've got a number of parts to check out the movement here. We've got all sorts of wings and panels that are going to move. We've got some landing gear and we should be able to pop the astromech up out of the port at the top. We have the cut out and keep collectible blueprint here if you like to discard your packaging to save space. I tend to keep my boxes so I won't be cutting that out but I like that that's a little fun thing there for fans. And of course down here we have some of the other ships available from series 5. We have Poe Dameron's X-Wing with that vibrant orange. We have a Special Forces TIE Fighter, the B-Wing Starfighter, and one of the rare chase vehicles is Luke Skywalker's X-Wing hologram version. I have unboxed this one on the channel. I'll have that one linked below if you want to check that one out. 
So yeah, that is the back of the backing card. Lots of features there that I'm really excited to take a look at. We can kind of see the way that the wings and everything are going to look once we get them all folded out. So yes, that is the packaging for the Shadow V-Wing Starfighter. So let's get it taken out and take a closer look. So now we have everything unboxed, we can take a closer look. I'm going to start with the minifigures first. So we can see that we have Imperial Pilot and Astromech. Kind of wish this was a little bit more of an Imperial paint job, but there we go. White and red with grey details there. And we have a blueprint style picture on the back showing all of those tiny details on these little figures. So let's pop them out of the tray so we can take a closer look at the tiny paint jobs. I'm going to pop that tray out of the way. Let's take a look at the generic astromech, which is just white with that sort of burgundy colored dome, some details on the leg and on the front, and some gray dome details there as well around the eye. I quite like the print on the top of this one. It's actually got all the sort of panels all uniformly painted. It's really quite nice. And nothing really much on the back. We do have a pig hole on the underside because there generally is a pig that these can fit on so that they fit nice and snug in there. So very cute little astromech. Got quite a lineup of those already. So now we have the Imperial Pilot. Mostly black with some small details. We've got a silver belt, a little bit of silver sort of compad here on the arm. Silver, oh, is that gray tubes there from the helmet? We've got the open visor with sort of red there, a white stripe across the top, and a tiny, tiny little silver emblem there that's like almost too small to be the imperial symbol, but it's kind of trying to be. It's very, very small. <laughs> but yeah, I'm always really impressed with how much of the detail they capture in these little figures. We've even got some gray and silver details there on the back. So as always, we can put them into their cockpit position with arms and legs, ready to try him in their starship later. So let's move on to the starship itself. So this is a really interesting one and judging by the back of the box there is a lot of movement and pieces to adjust to get it into sort of flight mode but it's really quite a unique shape. I'm really keen to check out all of these details. So at first glance, it kind of looks like a clean ship down the front. I'm not seeing as much weathering, but it's on these sort of wing panels that I'm really noticing more of the weathering. You can sort of see that sort of a gray wash here, particularly on this lower panel and here. We've got a little bit on the top ones as well, a little bit minimal and a little bit more here on the side. So I know the washes can be quite specific to different ships, uh, but with the chase vehicles, you often don't get the opportunity to see multiples in person. So you gotta grab what you can find. But overall, I am not too bothered by this weathering job. I think it looks good. The one little spot that I notice is in here. It's kind of like a bit of a drop. Sometimes you can kind of scratch this stuff off, but it's not too bad. Perhaps they took a bit of blaster fire in that area there. So taking a closer look at the rest of the paint job, it's kind of this light gray plastic that a lot of Star Wars starships are colored in. And we've got basically black accents on the wings here, on the top, all around the cockpit there. And we've got that really fine Imperial cog symbol here that looks like that is in white. Nice and cleanly done there. It's a bit asymmetrical in the fact that this is not repeated on the other side there. Some black details on the wing here. And we've actually got quite a lot of black and silver detailing on the underside, which is really fun to see. We've got stripes running down to the nose, black under the wings there and all around the sort of engine with all of this kind of silver tubing running into the engines down the back. That's really quite fun. We can see the silver engines with the sort of yellow accent there right on the ends. I think that looks really cool. And we can even see 
the black paneling on the inside of these wings. It's got like a texture that kind of reminds me of TIE fighter wings. It's really quite cool. Hopefully we'll get a better look at those later. So yes, and I think that's it. We've got a little bit of sort of a little bit of gray here as well around the hinges for those wing panels there. Overall, pretty cool, kind of sinister paint job with that sleek black there. And the weathering just sort of makes it look like it's seen some battle. So let's take a closer look at some of the sort of movement features for this ship. It's going to be a lot. So on the underside, I think there's only one landing gear here. Um, I don't see anything else that particularly moves in here. Um, this is just the engine. Doesn't look like anything sort of pops up. So let's get that landing gear up. That snaps into place nicely. So it's kind of going to sit a little bit awkwardly because it's just sort of sitting on its wings for now. But that doesn't look too bad. I think in the sort of flight mode, the wings are going to extend out. So I guess this is how it's going to sit when it's in the landed position on your shelf and display. It's kind of cool. I really like that sleek nose there. So I've been studying the back of the box and I'm going to try and see if I can get these wings to extend. So they kind of feel a little bit stiff. So let's see how we go. I'm hoping that I can get these extended fully. So some of them move a little bit more than others. That one's a little bit stiff. The one at the bottom moves a little bit more smoothly. So we've got that one there. The way that I remember it is kind of taking them and moving them down towards the nose of the ship. That seems to be the easiest way to help me remember. Because they can kind of swing the other way. But there we go. And yeah, now I can't, I can't really display it like this. It kind of looks a little bit odd. So I'm going to have to hold it here. I'm just going to put that landing gear back so we can get a sense of what it looks like in flight mode. Definitely need to get a stand for this one. I think it just looks, it just looks cooler with the wings open. Very, very cool. And another component that's going to move is these panels here. So we can move them to the side and now we can get a better look at that astromech port here with the peg inside so we can fit that in there and now that these are out of the way we can get into the cockpit and this one is one of those ships that has a sort of a panel at the bottom you can kind of see it jiggling in there so you can pop the astromech out it's this part here that kind of moves so we can put the astromech and then kind of pop them out if you want to get them out and i like all the detail in the cockpit there this one has a gray cockpit you can kind of see the details in there quite nicely that pale color very cool and we can see that we've kind of got this smoky gray translucent plastic for the cockpit with the black support lines there very keen to get our minifigures in place so we can take a look at the whole thing all assembled. So I'm going to start with the little astromech. It's going to fit onto that peg. He just fits in there nicely and I'm hoping like the others that peg means that he doesn't rattle out and then if you want to pop him out, whoops, <laughs> they just sort of fire out which is fun. There we go. So let's pop him back into place and let's get our Imperial pilot into place here and he just sits in there really nicely. You can see him there. That's a really nice fit. Very cool. So let's close that canopy and I can just see him through there. I know on camera it looks very dark. In person I can just see his helmet, particularly that little silver logo on his helmet. I can just make out through there. I know once you've got them on your shelf, you can sort of really not tell whether there's figures in there, but I like for, especially for the ones where it is really clear and you can see them in there, it just kind of really finishes the vehicle off. So if I can sort of hold it from the back, we can get a clearer view of that full ship with its big wings. It's a bit bigger than I was expecting. They do really sort of open out quite widely, don't they? 
that looks really cool I need to get like a little acrylic stand just to mount it in flight mode I think that that looks really cool I like the angles of those wings very happy to be able to add this one to my collection you never know with the chase vehicles some of the series we've had very good luck others we've had hopeless luck and we didn't really find any at all and then for a series five we found four so really really cool this is another fine addition to my micro galaxy squadron collection I think this looks really cool I want to put it on a stand and I am a little bit anxious about these wings I keep trying to sort of uh, move them in the wrong direction and the hinge will really let you know if you're trying to move them in a direction they don't want to go but I do think they look cooler out like that anyway just got to find something to support it so I can display it like this so there you go that is the rare one out of 15,000 chase vehicle the shadow v-wing really cool I like the stark sort of contrast of the pale and the black really cool can't wait to get this one on my display shelf thank you so much for watching if you enjoy micro galaxy squadron starships then do check out our other videos we've got plenty there including other chases from this wave and previous waves as well subscribe if you want to follow our star wars adventures and collectible unboxings catch you in the next video and as always may the force be with you if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like check out our other videos and subscribe for alerts about new uploads. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.